Hi, how are you? I am Anita Goa and this is a 12 minute in real time arm routine that you can do together with me. All right, I had done this uh, video for a client of mine and then she said, why don't you share this routine on your YouTube channel? And I thought that was such a great and generous idea and that's exactly what I'm doing now so I hope that you enjoy this one I am doing about 15 reps to 20 reps of each of the exercises and my weights are ranging between three pounds to eight pounds I'm also using a stability ball as well as a resistance band all right so that's the equipment that you need for me personally I can work a little bit heavier on the weights for my upper body because I don't bulk in my upper body the way that I do in my lower body and I went through that in my five secrets to slimmer calves and thighs and uh, but if you find that you bulk up a little bit more in your arms and maybe go a little bit lighter on the weights and increase the repetitions all right do the routine every other day and after you've done this routine, uh, stretch out with my video of the four stretches for your upper body. And I'll link um, both of these videos that I mentioned below in the um, description box. All right, so I hope that you enjoy. Let me know how you do. Bye. So for the stability push-up, keep your hands in 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock position. Inhale, elbows out. Exhale, straighten them. Inhale, exhale, 2. Inhale, exhale, 3. Inhale, exhale, 4. Inhale, exhale, 5. Inhale, exhale, 6. Inhale, exhale, 7. Inhale, exhale, 8. Inhale, exhale, 9. Inhale, exhale, 10. Keep going for another five breaths. See that your abs stay strong. See that your body is completely long and lowering down and lifting as one unit, just like a yoga push-up and lowering down into a chaturanga. Beautiful. Then release out of the pose and get ready for chest flies. Turn around and come into a reverse tabletop. Inhale, open the arms to the side and exhale, close. One. Inhale, exhale, close two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Your elbows are slightly bent. Inhale, exhale five. Really continue to squeeze through the bicep and um, the chest. Six. Inhale, exhale seven. Inhale, exhale eight. Inhale, exhale, nine. Inhale, exhale, ten. Do another ten repetitions on your own in the same way. Just really feel like you're maintaining your form. You're going in a steady speed, never going faster than what you're breathing. Always keeping impeccable form. Make sure that you don't feel any pressure in your lower back. So press through the feet, curl your tailbone under. And uh, think of yourself as sort of being in a back bend in this position. So you create length through your spine, openness through your entire front body. And that way you're going to get very deep into your chest muscles, right deep into the armpit. And then tone the inner seams of your arms, which is an area that a lot of women have trouble with. Beautiful. And then very gradually release yourself out of this position and get ready for lat pull downs with a resistance band. So feet are hip distance apart, arms are over your head. We're going to exhale, pull both elbows down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Three. Exhale, inhale four. Exhale. Inhale five. Now I'm going to do alternate. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. That's one. And down and up. Two. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four. Inhale, exhale. 
inhale, exhale, five. And I'm going to turn around so you can see me from the back. Exhale and inhale, one. So keep going for five times. Just really make sure that you draw the shoulder blades down and together and that you're using your bicep and try to avoid using your elbows. All right, so you're using your upper back and you're using your bicep a lot. And then squeeze right in through the armpit as well. So you get a little bit of that tricep area also. So doing five reps of both and then five reps of alternate so that you're doing a total of 20 repetitions. Maintain long spine the whole entire time. And then one more to the right. And then release the arms and get ready for lat rows with your weights. Bend forward, keep the spine long, pull the elbows back and extend. Turn your palms to face forward. So you exhale back, inhale, extend. Exhale back, inhale, extend. Four, five, six, exhale, inhale, seven, exhale, inhale, eight, exhale, inhale, nine, exhale, inhale, 10. Keep going 10 more times on your own. Make sure that as you pull your elbows back that you squeeze your shoulder blades down and towards each other. And as well, you get into your bicep here. And as you extend the arms, you get a little bit into the tricep. When you extend the arms, make sure that you don't drop into the shoulders. Try to keep the shoulders in their socket the whole time. Exhale back. Inhale up and of course you stay very strong in your abs. You don't feel any pressure in your lower back and you're supported through your legs. All right, now side lateral raises. And now instead of turning the palms down like we naturally do in side lateral raises, we turn the palms up and then I draw my hands together behind me. And back, good. So exhale up and then inhale down. That's three, exhale, inhale four, exhale, inhale, five. So I'm basically turning my pinkies outwards and up towards the ceiling, good, seven. And then when I go back, I'm turning my thumbs in towards each other and you'll see, I'm going to reverse this. Keep your abs strong and your spine lifted and now you see, exhale up, inhale back. So we do 10 more, nine, eight, breathe with it, exhale up, inhale down, seven, six, five, so this works your shoulders but also gets into the biceps and the triceps, four, three, two, and one, very good. Release and get ready for biceps, figure eight. Oh, shoulders, figure eight. Arms are in a 90 degree angle, and now you rotate and trying to make a figure eight, and then you alternate your arms. All right, so see how my elbows are bent the whole entire time. When I cross my arms in front, I'm sort of squeezing into my chest and into the armpit and bicep. And then when I open the arms out into a 90 degree angle, I pull my shoulder blades back and down. All right, so this works the chest, it works the biceps, it gets into the upper back, and it works the um, rotator cuffs really, really well. So here I'm doing three pound weights, and try not to go any higher than a five pound weight for this one. So I'm doing 20 repetitions, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, and release. Ooh, starting to feel it by now. The biceps is first the hammer curl, seven repetitions here, keeping the elbows close. Exhale up, inhale down. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we do hammer curls again on a diagonal. One, so just turn the palms forward a little bit. Two, keep your shoulders roll back. 
three, and just keep a focal point in front of you. Five, six, make sure that the elbows stay close to your waist. And seven, are we going to a regular bicep curl? Yeah, okay, there was seven. And now we're going to a regular bicep curl. One, rotate your palms in. Two, exhale up, inhale down. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we do the same bicep curl out on a, di out on a diagonal. One, rotate the palms out and up. Two, three, four, five, six, that's good, and seven. Now last seven is a reverse curl, and this is a little challenging to turn the palms down and try to keep the elbows close. Three, continue to keep the breastbone lifted on your shoulders, roll back, four, five, six, seven, now the same one, open it out to the side on a diagonal, oh, it's getting heavy, one, two, and I'm weaker on my left side, or right, as it looks to you, three, so my elbow goes out a little bit too much here, four, five, but try to maintain good form, even if you're fatiguing, and keep breathing, good, and one more. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's when you know the muscles are working. Now tricep kickback. A little bit lighter weights. I'm doing five pounds here. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. Exhale back, inhale forward. That's This is three, four, five. Keep your neck long and just keep a gazing point at the floor. Six, seven, eight, keep breathing, exhale back, inhale, nine, ten, ten more times, really rotate your thumbs inwards, and then I'm turning my palms to face up, that gives me a little bit more of a rotation to really target the tricep, and also try to target more the inner seam of uh, the arm which tends to be a little bit more challenging to tone up. All right, keep breathing and release. Ah, beautiful guys, enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this little blooper.